the neglect decision tree. Again, same pattern um, that, that their uh, obligation to immediately do the, do the right thing and do the safe thing first. But then are there reasonable grounds to suspect neglect has occurred? Um, now, in the definition, neglect of a resident by licensee or staff. And that uh, had caused some confusion and actually had caused some of, uh, uh, some of the reports that, uh, that came that were really not in the scope of the reporting requirement um, because there would be reports of neglect by people other than licensee or staff. Um, and again, not, not that the home should ignore that, but that it just doesn't fit in this particular piece of the legislation. So um, again, it would be pretty rare that you could say no right off the bat because if it was really a no, why would it have come to you? Something came to you, somebody has a belief this way. So walk through the chart. Did the licensee or staff, again, there's the who. So you'll notice there's no separate who done it column because the who is, is established, it's licensee or staff. Did they fail to provide a resident with treatment, care, services, or assistance required for health, safety, or well-being? So what the note also says is it's, um, is, it's about non-doing, as well as doing. But neglect is more often about the non-doing, the inaction that's been taken, and that it can be related to one resident or it can be to a group of residents. So um, the, you know, the, the person who, um, well, this also spills onto another decision tree, but the, the nurse uh, who comes on on evenings and uh, just decides she's not going to do the four o'clock med pass, then uh, you know it could be deemed, although it fits more appropriately in the in the physical tree, but could be deemed to be neglecting that whole body of residents, uh, just the same as if she decided uh, that oh she just wasn't going to be bothered giving Mr. Smith his meds, then that would be neglect of Mr. Smith. Um, so um, the answer is really either a yes or a we're not quite sure, but so go down the yes path or a no. Um, and so again, it's the, the reporting. So that's a pretty straightforward. The chart itself is straightforward. The issue of neglect is a little hard to pin down, eh? And um, the, unfortunately, the, the legislation, and that's where, because the legislation is so precise, or legislation always has to be so precise, and so what's not in the legislation is not addressed. And so um, there's no definition that expands about neglect. Because, and also because every situation has to be deemed on its own merits and in its own context. So, but what I say to you as family members and advocates is that this, knowing that, that a home might not in the end need to report this to the ministry, should not keep you from going and making mention of any concerns that you have, that you believe may be neglect. Because, in fact, it might not be neglect in an abuse and, and, and neglect part of the legislation. It might be about incompetent care or treatment, and that's a mandatory reporting section as well. It might be a complaint, you know, so whatever goes in a written complaint also has to come be reported by the home to the to ministry. So if, uh, you know, that there are different ways to, to get to that path if you have a strong belief about neglect. And I also say to you, these are the requirements of the licensee to report what came to them. There is nothing that stops anybody from picking up the phone and calling the ministry yourself or the police yourself, you know. So, um, and you know, it's very interesting because if a home's doing the right thing and a person calls and complains that there should be if the home has reported an abuse or neglect or something and you're calling to complain about that same incident or whatever, then it does uh, support for the inspector that they can kind of correlate and say, and if you call and make the complaint and they do an in the inspection, it generates an inspection and they find out there's, um, that they can verify and validate it and the home has not done their proper reporting, then, then that b rises to the level of awareness. Okay, and, and, and then the requirement to reinforce with the home that that's the expectation. So, you know, uh, do not, I uh, just want to say, you do whatever you feel is right, 
Anyway, so yes, so neglect is sometimes hard to define or exactly is this situation neglect or not. Again, that's why I say don't label the thing in advance that, um, you know, and it may in fact be some kind of abuse.